Okay, so see how this piece of wood isn't sounded and it's fuzzy? This is a, a one inch piece, a true one inch piece of Western red cedar. I carved it in a live, live video today, live carving. Besides some of the rocks and the details, you guys can get a quick look at it. I wanted to do it, it's, it says uh, live carving negative space. So I want this guy to look like an old, crazy, <clears throat> excuse me, old like a uh, warrior rock wood spirit, just decaying away, right? So lots, I get lots of emails about and messages about finishing pieces. Well, I'm gonna show in this video how I finish my pieces. It's a technique that I found myself and it's a technique that I love. You know, you can see up here, the wood's not sanded that good. It's not sanded that good anywhere. And you know, if you're gonna put oil on a piece that's not sanded that good or just plain stain, you're gonna have shiny spots and you're gonna have dull spots, trust me. Okay, you can see here, the grain is sanded better than it would be sanded inside there. This, if you oil this, this might be a little bit more shiny and that will be dull. I had this problem when I began wood carving and I messaged my buddy Pete over and over and over and over again. I have a, a spot on my carving that's a dull, a spot that's shiny. One part piece is darker and brighter. Anyways, guys, what I do here fixes that problem for the very beginning wood carver. Beside, it's called, what I use, it's called Minwax Poly Shade. But what I'm gonna do first, this is a thing I do on my own too. You can use paint or you can use wood dye, but today we're gonna use paint. I'm gonna paint these, I'm gonna mix this white and black dollar store acrylic paint. I'm going to make it so it's gray and white and I'm going to paint those rocks gray and white and I'm also going to do his, that with his beard and his mustache and his hair and then I'm going to paint the, his eye white so he looks so it all looks like it's complete. Okay so let's get the camera in the overhead and start painting. Okay guys so there's nothing nothing no part of this is a part that none of you can do. We can all can do it, right? So you got the white paint in here. I got a little piece of black in here. And let's just make it up and make it gray. If it's not dark enough, well, we'll just put some more black in there. But I think this is dark enough. Maybe just a little touch more of black. I got some black here. Okay, so it's just that simple. And I got some extra white stuff right here. So I just put it on the rocks. That's it. How easy is that? I'm not trying to paint inside the cracks because that's the, the deep spot and I want the poly shade because I'm going to be using black poly shade. I want that to really soak in there, right? Because the paint acts as kind of like a, well, we'll just say like a plastic guard so the poly shade can't absorb into the wood, right? Not fully, but it kind of does. You'll see. So I'm just going to paint all these rocks. Nothing special, just quick paint job, right? Like a two year old could do this. Hey, that's a good new good thing for the channel. If if I can do it, a two year old can do it. Hey. <laughs> so let's just get these uh, rocks painted here. How about that? And then uh, I'm gonna paint this part too. Just a little bit some. Not all of it, just some. Put some more weight on here so it really pops. It'll give this guy kind of like a gray looking beard. Mustache thing. Okay, I'll put a little bit on the bottom up here. Super simple. So I'm gonna finish painting this. We'll let the uh, paint dry, and then we'll come back and put the um, poly shade over top. But first I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all fully painted. Okay. Okay, I just wanted to give a shout out to um, one of the subs. He's a big contributor and a huge part of Curve, Curving Fusion. You know, he comments on all my videos. He um, chips in whenever I'm having a fundraiser for the... Um, giveaways and stuff like that. Um, I just so Alan Terry. I just want to say thanks for the support, man. I really appreciate it, and believe me, it doesn't go unnoticed. 
and all of you guys um that uh give us support here at the channel never goes unnoticed i can't get back to all of them but i i read them all all the comments and everything so here it is you know i really could have done a lot better job sanding this guy it's because this wood was a little bit wet but this cedar dries out so quick so there you see like i said white and gray paint but look how fuzzy it is in that in the beard there so anyways i think it looks pretty cool just like this but if it was sanded i could keep it good like this but it's just not sounded good enough and i don't care do you care probably not because well i don't care so i guess probably you don't care well even if i did care you probably wouldn't care anyway so whatever don't care i don't okay so here is a classic black pulley shade for all the new people to the channel when some lady was um i think it was lady said in an email don't bite quit biting your nails well i've bit my nails my whole life so it's just it's just the way it goes around here i bite my nails look that one i haven't bitten that one in a few days it's growing out there pretty good look at all the dirt under there anyways <sighs> Minwax, poly shade, classic black. This stuff is the glossy when you buy the brown color cans. It's like a not glossy finish. So I'm going to paint this whole thing, glot this black, and wipe it off with a rag. I got a rag. I got my uh, Liz doctor gloves when she plays doctor. Um, anyways, okay, just I'll put this stuff on here. Hi, Liz. I just like to confirm something about Liz and her doctor gloves, and she likes to play doctor. She doesn't play doctor with me, and Li me and Liz are friends, and we love each other as family we've never met, but maybe she plays doctor with her boyfriend, Bob. Hi, Bob. How you doing, Bob? Dr. Bob. Who's a doctor? Who's a nurse? Okay, enough. Enough, Jordy. I figured I should talk a little bit more about this. This is like um, polyurethane, right? That's why it's called polyshade. But you know, like, why I love using this stuff, and I know I repeat myself, like when you put it on there, it's a final coat. Pretend it's not plastic, but pretend it's just like a, what is this here? It's like a seal. Pretend it's like putting a plastic coat over top of the piece. So when you put this stuff on, if you want to make it shiner, shinier, buy some like a gloss, clear finish. If you want to make it duller, buy some matte. You can spray over top of it, right? So it's, and it works wicked for outdoors too. So I love this stuff. I love it. It comes in all different sorts of colors. And you know, you won't get that dull spot. You won't get that shiny spot. When I use this stuff, why, why I love it the most, you're getting a color with it and it just makes your piece so consistent. Okay. So let's get, cause I used to struggle just like all you new beginners out there with stains and varnishes and this and that and this and that and this get this stuff your life will change okay so i got the poly shade all mixed up make sure you mix it up good because the well let's mix it some more because the color sinks to the bottom sometimes so um i'm thinking this is gonna go pretty dark because this uh is this is edge grain that i've carved here and when you do edge grain it's pretty porous wood that means it absorbs the stuff that i put on there um, i'd also like to take a second and say um hey liz i was just joking you know i gotta be real careful about what i say on um on this youtube here i got twenty nine thousand subscribers now and i just gotta i gotta think about people's feelings and stuff like that and i've never ever once said anything to offend it to try and offend anybody on this on this channel or anything and sometimes i do cross the line i know and if i've ever offended you i'm, I'm just gonna say sorry prehand okay so let's get this uh black on here i'm gonna put it on his face see how it looks give it a little bit of wipes See how fast I need to wipe it off, okay? So you can see how dark it looks right now. So let me give it a quick wipe. Yeah, so... You can see there it's still pretty dark. So that's how you can tell how much it absor the wood absorbed it, right? So let's just do up here on his hair. And yeah, I, this, as I repeat, my favorite, favorite grain of the wood to carve is um, face grain. That's when you're cutting through the grains, not against the grains or with the grains.
And I'm going to be have to be careful wiping it off here so I don't break it. It gets pretty fragile, right? So let's see here. really see that white pop out pretty good I'm pretty happy with that this isn't the the more you wipe it the more you'll get the natural color back see okay so how about I finish this here, let's just do a bit on these rocks here right, uh, right here so the piece that I didn't paint in between the rocks that that will hold the that will suck in the wood. Sorry, that will absorb the poly shade a lot better because it's nothing's been on top of it. Yeah, these rocks look cool. Okay, so I'm gonna get this done and then I'll be back. Okay, so the poly shade's still wet. You can see the fuzziness. Big deal. You see, guys, it's just like an experiment. I found something that I love. I'll be doing it more, and I'll be doing different colors, too, like this. I won't ever stop experimenting art. I think even the pros experiment. You know, so let's keep it going. We got some of this metallic silver powder, wax stuff that you get at Michael's. And, uh... We'll put it a little bit around the rocks and just a touch on his beard and stuff like that. And we got uh, some gold color because I, I sanded down more. I just wiped this. I didn't sand this with my flop sander. I just wiped it and I hit it with sandpaper with my hand. And I think his face kind of looks like it's gold. I'm really, <clears throat> these little hairs from his beard coming down here, looks like a little puffer fish, but it's just me and Sol being a critic of my own work but it's okay it's okay the way it is so let's get this stuff on and have another look What do you think about that one, Alan? I went pretty thick with the uh, metallic dye on the rocks. I just like the way it looked, the effect. You guys can't get the real one. You can kind of see how shiny they are. Gold on his forehead and in there. Solid silver in his eye. I like it. One more thing to do. Come on, guys. Yep, you know that. Hi there. How you doing? Hello. There it is, guys. Yep, I put a mirror behind it. Somebody in the live chat, uh, I think it might have been Harley Honk. How you doing, Harley Honk? Gave me the idea. Hi, Spike. So I put a mirror behind it. I think it's cool. You know, I'm going to be honest. I could have taken this away and then this away. Just gave it a face with this mustache and this part of the beard down here. I think it might have looked better, but I don't care. It's done. It is what it is. It's unique. And you guys, try to be as unique as you can. Keep at it. Don't give up. And you're going to get better and better and better. Everyone's going to get better with me. Everyone I do gets better and better and better. I think anyways. Some don't. Sometimes you make duds. I like a solid silver eye, like an old robot kind of guy, right? This old weathered warrior stuck in stone. So I hope you're all good. And um, we'll talk to you guys soon. Be original, everybody. Keep at it, because remember, when it comes down to it, it's just an experiment. See you later.